Oh my gosh. Oh, sick. You guys would be so proud of me. Actually, you guys probably won't care that I just went to the gym two days in a row now. Go me. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. I'm, it's funny, I, the gym, it's Mother's Day, it's Sunday. Gym opens at, I don't know what's happening. Gym opens at seven o'clock today. Just ignore my mustache sweat so you can tell I was really working hard today. Um, so I show up here at 6.57 and I'm about the sixth person in. The five people before me were all men, all around the age of 70. And so it was like the perfect time to go to the gym because I just want to start lifting weights more and doing squats and stuff like that. Not like any of you guys care, but this is my goal. And it's so hard when I walk into the gym midday or in the afternoon or evening and there's all these high school boys in there or I don't know, guys in their 20s, like just meatheads trying to lift and just like all around the weight section. And it's like, okay, I just don't feel comfortable squatting around them or just doing anything. It's just weird. I don't know if any other women feel like this. Probably. I can't be the only one. It's just uncomfortable. So I'll, every time I go to the gym, I just walk and I go straight to the treadmill and I'm just there the whole time because that's like where I belong. <laughs> I want to start lifting more. So it was so nice to have five 70 year olds in there with me. We're all on the stretching mats or the stationary bikes. I'm sorry. That's just, that's judging, but it's true. Right, dad? <laughs> Um, Mother's Day, we are going to go to church this morning. I got to get home and shower. And then I'm going to go get a pedicure with Jamma. And I don't know what we're going to do tonight with the kids. I gave Joey a few options. And we'll see. And we'll see if, I don't know if we're going to get together with Joey's family too. We should see his mom for a little bit. We don't really have plans today. We're just kind of flying by it. <laughs> I just walked in from the gym and the very first thing I get asked when I walk in the door by JJ sitting on the couch watching TV is, uh, mommy, can you make me pancakes now? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Daddy's not eating your pancakes. You eggs, I'm making you pancakes right now. Does that sound good? You want pancakes? Ew. You do? Do you know it's Mother's Day today? Yeah, make them for me. Yeah. So do you, nah. do you drop mom? Hey, Cosmos. Boss. Good morning, lovey. You're having chocolate muffin with daddy and eggies. You like eggies? Oh, you like your eggies? You need to put your hair on, honey. Good morning. Can you say mama? Not today. <laughs> Gosh. I thought we talked about this. <laughs> what did we talk about? I said I wanted 200 because I have two kids. <laughs> That's so cute, babe. I bargained JJ to write his name on there. To watch Where? To watch my cell phone. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Yes, you did a good job. JJ Fuca, did you sign my card? Wait a minute. What? Did you found your card? I found it. Here. I yeah, did. She opened it up without you. Oh, I'm sorry. Wilson? Okay. Oh, open. So, <laughs> let me explain the cash really quick. On my first Mother's Day, or maybe it was a year ago or two years ago on Mother's Day, I can't remember. Joey got me flowers and a card, and inside the card there was a crisp $100 bill. And I was cracking up because I'm like, what is this $100 bill for? Like, we have the same bank account. Like, why are you just pulling out cash for me for Mother's Day? He's like, I don't know. I just so you can just you get a manicure, pedicure, do whatever you want to do. And I thought that was so funny. Actually, his whole family did. We all made fun of him for that. So then the other day in bed, he's like, hey, what do you want for Mother's Day? And I was like, 200 cash because I have two kids. <laughs> 
I only got 100 again this year. Maybe that's just the nice round number I get, but uh, I was expecting to, so. Joey and I just finished Mother's Day church service together. We dropped the kids off with Jamma. That's a good look. And Grandpa Tom, because they were being a little wild this morning. Are you having a good morning, honey? You're not? Did you have fun with Jamma and Grandpa Tom? You were, you were p playing a balloon fight with Jamma when we got there? No. Are you double picking your nose? No, I just do it with Are you being a sweet boy on Mother's Day? Just being a great young man. No. You're not? You're supposed to be nice to me today. No. You're not? Mm -mm. Do you want to take a nap? With me. Okay. With not you. With not me? No. Oh, with who? No. No. Don't be mean, JJ. Come on. No. I love you, sweetheart. No. Can you say Happy Mother's Day? No. Still a little Mother's Day video. <laughs> We're going to oh, go God. get pedicures right now. We just dropped off my evil kids. Evil. <laughs> They're so cute. They're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get pedicures now and then just, what, go to Costco? Yeah, let's. <laughs> <laughs> so let me fix my hair. Just really live it up today. <laughs> Costco. Wherever else we want to go. Oh. Just some nice bonding time. We could go to lunch right down here at the uh, golf course. Right here at the end of the street. What golf course? It's Crow Canyon Brewery. It's awesome. Really? Yes. They have great lunches, great beer, really good beer. <laughs> Do you have a discount code or anything? Fairway beer. Oh. No. Mm -mm. Okay. I think it's called Fairway. Okay. We're going to go get our toes done then. Yeah. Let's do that. You Let me take a picture of you. No. Why? No, seriously, take a bite of your lemon. No. <laughs> I just got home. Jamma and I went to get pedicures. We went to this new place and it was actually amazing. I'm definitely going to go back there. And if you pay cash, um, they give you 10% off. So that's kind of a steal deal, especially because I feel like pedicures are so expensive these days. Maybe it's because... All the nail salons were out of business with COVID. Sorry, I got cut off. I don't know if all the nail salons are so expensive now because of COVID and now they're all open and charging everybody up the ass to get a manicure or pedicure, but I feel like they're all, isn't $35 expensive for a pedicure? Or maybe it's just been that long since I've been and that's like a normal price, I don't know. Anyways, we got pedicures, so I need to stop talking. And we went to Costco. Uh, I had a return and yeah, it was just, that's the first time I've been to Costco, I feel like, without one or two, one or both kids in so long, and that was nice. <laughs> Even just to have a conversation with my mom while we're getting our pedicures done, because we're never talking, just her and I, it's always us FaceTiming, and the kids are with me, or we're over there at their house, and the kids are with me, and it's just pure chaos. So that was actually really nice to get some quality one-on-one -on -one time with her, and... I have to say, I know I <laughs> felt bad in the car. I said that I dropped off my evil kids or crazy kids, but it is honestly, I feel like because of COVID, because we did have COVID, if you watched my last video a couple weeks ago, and we, Joey and I just felt like awful. Like we were really, really, I wouldn't say really, really sick. I mean, I guess actually, yeah, because we had aches and pains all over and migraines and just you're just feeling you're so tired and yet you can't sleep because you have kids and nobody can take care of your kids because you're they're sick too even though they're not acting sick and no one wants to get COVID so like nobody could take the kids off of our hands and yeah we were just exhausted so anyways because of that we let JJ get away with using his iPad a ton he had a ton of screen time 
you know, for two weeks. And so now it's like, he just screams for his iPad and he's just this monster and everything that he does. Cause we had this whole thing where you get five more minutes, JJ, five more minutes, and then you're done. So now with everything, it's like, he wants five more minutes with trucks or five more minutes doing this, or definitely using our phones or iPads to watch something. I told Joey, we just can't give those to him anymore because he's just not a nice guy after he watches has screen time. And I guess that's anyone, you know, if you watch too much TV, you're just like this couch potato who hates everybody and hates life. But when I, we picked him up from my parents' house after church this morning, he was just like such a monster. Well, you saw a clip of it from us in the car, but he was just not a nice guy. And, and if you follow me on Instagram, like you can see when he's a sweetheart and he usually is a sweet kid. Like he got into the car after school Friday and gave me my Mother's Day card. I was like, oh, I want to hug you, mama. And I'm like, okay. Everyone, all these moms sent me DMs like, oh, that's so sweet. I love when they're so sweet. It's like, I know we do. Because then there's versions of JJ like today on Mother's Day. <laughs> He's just like not, not a happy camper. So anyways, I just took a quick shower because I hate when you have like gross lotion-y feet and just, you just feel all gross down there after a pedicure. So I am cleaned off. I got home. Joey already had his car started because the kids napped um, and they were hanging out here with him, had lunch while I was out with my mom. Now I'm here. I'm going to take like an hour nap. I said, I just need an hour. Let me sleep for an hour. And then I'm going to meet them over at Fuca's house, Joey's parents' house to play and hang out. But it's been a good Mother's Day so far. It's been surprisingly relaxing and I don't feel guilty for not being with my kids today because it's my day of the year of the entire year where I don't have to feel guilty and I didn't get a day like this on my birthday because we all just got our positive COVID test so we didn't even celebrate my birthday we just boom it was passed and there was no breaks no sleeping in no napping it was just like you're on with your crazy kids while you feel like the worst as horrible as possible you could possibly feel Anyways, okay, I'm taking it out. <laughs> you told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of our romance. You make me feel so alive. On. If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me JJ and I are eating dinner in bed together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have chicken strips, curly fries, regular fries, barbecue sauce, plate of strawberries. I went, Joey was basically with the kids all day. It was a really nice relaxing Mother's Day if I didn't see that already. Anyways, I picked up Kali from Fuca's house. He was, she was over there with Joey and JJ and my in-laws and cousins and everything. and. Um, Go over to take a quick picture with my mom in our on our besties shirts that I got on Pink Billy. If I can find them, I'll link them down below in the description box. But and I think they have them in blue too. If you want to get them, if you have like a little boy. <sighs> anyways, uh, I said anyways 13 times. I'm so tired. I, I'm having still from COVID. I don't know if I already talked about this because I'm losing my mind. But I'm having just dizzy spells still and just migraines and I can feel this migraine setting in and I'm just so ready for bed but and he's kind of congested too do you have a kind of a stuffy nose honey no you don't mm -mm. No. so anyways picked up Collie went to go take a quick picture with my mom at 
my parents' house and then went back over to Fuca's and hung out for a little bit. I just didn't film over there at all because my headache is slowly setting in and we weren't over there. We weren't over there that long, but um, sorry, Sing is playing in the background right now. But then we got home and just our fridge is so bare. I need to go grocery shopping, but today was my day, day off, Mother's Day. So I didn't do any prepping, so that'll happen tomorrow after my work meeting in the morning. Ugh, just thinking about what's next. It's getting, I think he's getting sick. He was not sick at all, didn't show any symptoms for COVID the whole time. And now we're done with COVID and he's like getting a stuffy nose. Do you feel okay though, buddy? Uh -oh. You feel okay? Uh -oh. Okay. So we're going to enjoy dinner in bed. Uh, what I was saying is we didn't have anything to eat. Joey's like, let me just go to this new chicken place down the street and got us the kids and I some chicken chips and barbecue sauce, two different kinds of fries, you know, cut up the only fruit I had from the farmer's market the other day. Um, oops, careful, honey. He's downstairs taking care of calls balls. I'm with JJ and we'll do bath time in bed. Not this. I'm not. Is I don't. Ball, is Fawn need to do bath time? Yeah, Carl's Balls has the bath ready. Not me, I don't want to. She can't just go to bed? I have French fries. Hey, do you want, Paula, do you want to go in the bathtub? Just give her a quick rinse. Okay. I put her, I already put her pajamas out and her bottles in her chair. Okay. I know Joey wants to watch the Lakers game right now, so I'm going to start eating before he eats all my food, but thank you for watching. Happy Mother's Day to all you wonderful mothers out there. You deserve... A whole day off you deserve more than a day off but if you got a day props to you because it's just so nice okay can you say bye JJ see you next time bye. see you next time you say happy Mother's Day happy Mother's Day can I have a kiss no okay <laughs>